lawnmower season is just starting to kick off here at Steve Small Engine Saloon on Vancouver Island. There's a lot of people changing their blades. <clears throat> a lot of people taking their blades off, sharpening them, putting them back on. A lot of people don't realize there is actually a wrong way and a right way to put a lawnmower blade on. Um, you got a 50-50 chance of putting it on. If you put your lawnmower blade on upside down, there is several problems that you can get from that. Um, first of all, if you put your blade on upside down, you're cutting with the back side of the blade, which is the dull side of the blade. It's going to make a mess of your grass. It's not going to cut your grass. It's going to be tearing it and ripping it off. It's still going to, you know, theoretically cut your grass, but it's going to make a mess. The other thing that <clears throat> that can do is that every lawnmower blade has a wing that comes up off the back side of the blade. When it's on properly, the wing comes up off the back side of the blade. If you have it on upside down, now all of a sudden that wing is closer to your grass. Especially if you cut your grass low to begin with, you can catch that wing on stumps, rocks, you hit something, it catches that wing, you can bend your blade, you can uh, shear your flywheel key from doing that. Uh, worst case scenario, you bend your crankshaft. In today's day and age, if you bend your crankshaft in your lawnmower, it's garbage. Nobody is going to straighten your crankshaft or replace your crankshaft. It's garbage. All because you had your blade on upside down. So what you got to do is verify before you put that blade back on is what side is the grass side. We're going to call that the grass side. The reason I say that is because there's a lot of lawnmower blades out there when you buy them new now because this is actually a problem for people. It's stamped right in the bottom of the blade, right into the steel itself. It says grass side. Not all lawnmower blades are stamped with grass side. You have to verify for yourself what side is up and what side is down. What side is the grass side of the blade. We're going to flip this sucker over right now and I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you a couple tips and tricks. Also, how to flip it over. It's not as straightforward as a lot of people think. So we're going to do that right now. And you know what goes great with putting a lawnmower blade on? Coconut. Let's get to it. So now... To actually take your lawnmower blade off, put it back on, whether you're sharpening it or putting a new one on, you have to flip this lawnmower over. Um, number one thing you have to do is take that spark plug boot off of your spark plug. Pull that off so that is impossible now for when you're spinning the blade around underneath there that it can accidentally start and cut your fingers off. Do that, safety precaution. Flip it over, there is a wrong way and a right way to flip the lawnmower over. <clears throat> Verify where your lawnmower's carburetor and your air filter is. If you flip this thing over, so this carburetor and air filter is on the downside, Gravity is going to run all your engine oil right out your carburetor, right out your air filter, and destroy your air filter. Be oil all over the ground. Carburetor, air filter, always up on the upside when you flip it over. This one's on this side, so we're going to flip it this way. Now you can actually have your lawnmower flipped over like that and engine oil isn't going to run out. Got to get that off. Lefty loosey, righty tighty on that 
on that bolt. If you just sharpened your blade, obviously, you know, it's going to be sharp. You have to hold that blade with one hand, put a wrench on there with the other hand. Um, obviously, leather glove. Best option. Figure out which wrench it works. Most likely, it's going to be a 916 or a 5 8 depending on it, whether it's a Toro, Lawn Boy, AYPM. M MTD. I figure out which one fits that. 916 on this one because it's a Craftsman AYP. Hold that. If you don't have a leather glove, you can just take a rag or something like that and just wrap it around there and hold that too so you're not getting cut. Lefty Lucy, hold that tight and turn that with a wrench. And you're going to turn that off. Get that blade off. Now, there are a lot of lawnmowers out there that the blade hasn't been off for a long time. That bolt could be so tight. If you can't get that off, if you can't hold that blade tight enough and turn that wrench, you need to come up with another solution. Now, there, every lawnmower out there, you can jam a piece of wood. In there whether you got an old piece of firewood whether you got a 2x6 2x4 whatever you can jam in there to jam that blade from turning like that so the blade you don't have to hold it with your hand now the wood is holding it there you can put a lot of pressure on that now and try to turn that off if it's still so tight that you can't get that off and you know you're turning it the right direction, you're turning it clock counterclockwise, counterclockwise to turn that off and it's still so tight you can't get it off. There's a little trick uh, that you can do. It's called double wrenching. It's giving you more leverage. You put that wrench on. You can put another wrench on where it goes from the closed end to the open end. And now you got more leverage. You got a longer wrench now and you can put a lot more pressure on that and you can get that off of there. That's a really good trick for a lot of people who really have a tight bolt on anything. Doesn't mean just lawnmower. Uh, a lawnmower application. You can do that on anything that's a tight bolt. Double wrench trick. So that's how to get your blade off. Now once you sharpen it or put a new or you got a new one and you want to put it on, to put it back on, here's what we're talking about with the grass side. I'm going to show you a little trick here. This is pretty easy. Right way and a wrong way. You got that blade when you hold that blade up there on your on your mower, look at the blade and see what side is closest to the grass. That's how you verify which side is your grass side or not. What side is closest to the grass? Is it the sharp side? Or if you have it on upside down, is it the dullest side, the wing, that's closest to your grass? That's wrong. That's right. Sharp side closest to your grass. Another way you can verify that is because all lawnmower blades turn counterclockwise. If you have that blade there, you're ready to bolt it on, turn that thing counterclockwise. If it's the sharp edge coming forward towards you, the leading edge of the blade that's sharp, as you turn it counterclockwise, you got your blade on properly. Bolt that thing back on. So you got your blade on tight. You got the blade right side up. You start cutting some grass. Done. I hope I helped some of you guys out again. Steve Small Engine Saloon. Thanks for tuning in again, guys. 
Uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm still waiting. Please do. Kokanee, watch out for that Sasquatch. Steve out.